Welcome one and all to the to the long running section uh, on social, political, and economic matters. It's the boring monologue, but it's a long running section. You will you will have this with you for as long as you can plan for it. Swali edition episode seventeen. We had planned to have a conversation on uh, art, sports, culture, and talent development and management. But my mind is so clouded, I cannot picture myself um, giving out the facts uh, or the details as I would wish. So I decided to pick a short one because we really need to talk about this. Stress, anxiety and depression among young people within our communities during the COVID-19 pandemic and now after the pandemic. There seems to be so much of a strain. There seems to be so much of a, of, of a disconnect between our expectations and how things are running and it's costing us a lot. Over the, over the past one or two months, we've experienced an equaled cases of mud, accidents, uh, battering and uh, it's, there is a noted rise in uh, the use of drugs and substances and this can only be attributed to the fact that our young people are stressed, they are anxious, they are depressed and we have a role to play, we have something to do, we have a requirement to, 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 to to make sure that things have to go in the right direction. So I ask this of you, I ask this of each and every person out there, that you have a responsibility to take someone in, uh, by their hand, um, speak to them, ask them a question of how they are doing, um, uh, demand to know if they have any challenge that they require uh, help with. Because we cannot run away from our individual responsibility to take care of each one of us. And we want to talk about arts, sports, culture, and talent management. But we can't do this unless we have people or the young people that are supposed to be to be to be to be developed are in are in what we call sober man. They are sober. They are uh, they are. Uh, safe and they are handling their challenges individual and social and interpersonal properly mm. a few days ago two days ago to be exact a friend of mine uh, asked me uh, what can I what can we do to really cut down on these damning statistics what is our role? And I, I have not had any real answer for them. We all have our demons. We all are dealing with our demons. It can be economical, we are dealing with social challenges, the political environment is too stressing, the, the family issues. But is that a prerequisite for us to go overboard and blow up. One main uh, solution to the three things I've mentioned, stress, anxiety and depression, is uh, distraction. People will choose to be distracted for a moment so that whatever they have in the, is disturbing them uh, seems to disappear. But is that the real solution? Is that what we should be saying helps? I don't know. Everyone, everyone has their way of, uh, of articulating challenges, uh, of uh, solving, uh, solving conflict, among other things. But what we are doing, is it solving the real challenges that we should be and 
democracy is it uh, uh, is it is it uh, is it uh, is it giving people hope is it uh, creating an environment where people can openly and safely at uh, communicate their expectations worries um, their anxiety their depression what are we are doing is it providing that safe haven is it offering enough refuge to to the, to, to, our, to members of our community Guys, I am lost of words. But like I said last time, I've used Swali Edition to express my honest, uh, my honest expectations. This is what I want from life. This is um, when I spoke about how political engagements, uh, how we should be offering youths opportunities those were my expectations and i thought this was the the right forum for me what about every each and every young person out there and the young people who are scared yeah like someone was saying yesterday these young people are not are not exceptionally ingenious or we cannot say they are doing it because they have the courage or the confidence to do it they are doing it because they are scared they are messing up because they can't do anything else and it worries everyone mostly me every young person out there is struggling with mental health issues know that you are not alone to every young person out there wondering how the next day it's gonna be, be if uh, a door will open up for opportunities know that you're not alone millions and millions of young people are worried millions of millions of young people are scared we don't know if this one is gonna hold us and our expectations we don't know we don't know if the political structure cares we don't know if uh, uh, the people we trust with power, leadership, authority, care. We don't know. But then if you really think they don't care, then you have an opportunity to care yourself. Care for someone else. Don't make rash decisions just because you are annoyed or you are anxious or you are afraid. Speak to someone. Ask for guidance. Or if you don't have to ask for guidance, let's speak about the challenge. Use proxies. You don't have to be the person being speaking about yourself in a conversation. You can speak about yourself by mentioning other people. Call the toll-free numbers that I'll be sharing uh, in, the, in the comment section. They are offering relief services on uh, mental health. And talk to a friend, man. Reconnect. From today on, um, I have a contact list of almost 3,000 people. I'm only going to limit that to 150. I don't want this baggage. Also, it's the same to you. Relieve your baggage. Have a number of challenges or problems that you can handle. People are challenges. People are problems. So just work on them and take complete control of your life. Whatever happens, it's you and you alone. Thank you.